Hey, what's up, guys? Franco here, nextlevelballplayer.com. Got uh, Coach McDonald from University of Louisville coming off a College World Series uh, appearance this last year. Coach, thanks for taking a few minutes to join us. You bet. Glad to do it. Um, you know, let's jump right into it. When you're looking at high school players, what are a few things they can do to stand out? Uh, obviously, there's a level of talent, but beyond talent, what are a few things that guys can do to stand out in your mind? Yeah, like you said, talent's obvious, so we're looking for talent. I think the big thing with high school kids is, do they play hard? And, and lots of times, you know, as college coaches or maybe as scouts, we're looking at them to hopefully play at our level. So it's really a huge plus check mark on a kid, a real asset if we watch a kid who's obviously talented, but he plays the game hard, and in playing hard, just the way he runs on and off the field, the way he runs the bases, uh, maybe sometimes how he interacts with his teammates, how he handles failure, um, because, you know, the, the closer he is to doing the things we do as college coaches or as professional, the more impressive it's going to look on that high school kid. Great. You've had a chance to coach some really talented guys that made it to the big leagues. What, what are some things that are just the differ differentiators between the good and the great players that you've been, been around? I, I think it's consistency. I, I say it a lot to our players. Everybody's going to have a good day on the mound. Everybody's going to get a couple hits uh, during a game throughout the season. The difference between the good and the great uh, is they're just they're more consistent. They're able to repeat. Um, and it starts with practice. I call them guys who punch the clock. They show up every day. You know, Jeffrey Thompson was an All-American for us last year as a junior, um, but I look back on his freshman year, his sophomore year, his junior year, and even now as he's in pro ball and he works out with us in the offseason, he just continues to punch the clock. And, and what it is, it's those little small increments. I mean, we all want immediate success, but it takes time. And the more you punch the clock, the more consistent you are day in, day out, and you build those positive days up, eventually success will show. Yeah. What's the biggest adjustment you see for high school players transitioning to college baseball? Uh, sometimes dealing with failure. You know, we sign a high school hitter. He's never hit usually under four or five hundred and uh, probably doesn't strike out a whole lot. And, and so one, dealing with failure. I think two, having to be more of, of a role. What's going to be your role? Because just about every kid we sign, pitcher, or position player, they were the number one pitcher or they were the three-hole hitter. And, and it's easy to maybe handle that role when you're in that star position. But sometimes as a young college player, you don't hit third, you hit eighth or ninth, you might not even play as a freshman. As a pitcher, you're now not starting, you might have to come out of the bullpen your freshman year. And so it's just challenging for kids just because most times they haven't experienced that. Yeah. And final question, uh, what's one piece of advice you'd give aspiring players just looking to make it to the next level and continue getting better at baseball? Uh, win the day. Uh, that's one of my favorite statements. Um, you know, we, we, uh, we have a saying, be where your feet are. And it, it's nice to have goals, dreams, visions. I'm all about that. Uh, but sometimes we get ahead of ourselves. You know, when, when we say win the day, and I text that to our players a lot, when you wake up in the morning, this is the only time you're going to live this day. And when we say be where your feet are, it's this is where you are today. And so how are you gonna maximize the most today? And it goes back to that being consistent. The more days you win in a row, when it starts to accumulate, you start to end up doing something special. So I would just, I, I, I like kids to dream big, but I would challenge them, um, let's just take it one day at a time. That's awesome, thanks so much for your time. You got it, appreciate it.